Well, welcome along, everybody, to the Telecom Dome here in Germany as the Basketball Champions League has reached game day 11. And Group D is our focus today with Telecom Baskets Bonn taking on Greek opposition in Aris. Well, as you can see and hear, the atmosphere is palpable and a huge collection of Aris supporters have made the journey from Greece to Germany to try and inspire their side on to victory. Here are the games in Group D. We've already seen Beshita Sopo Japan get the better of Chess Nimbo, 91 points to 80. And also starting a half an hour's time, who stand against Nanterre. And also Sidigas Avellino taking on Stelmet Zilo Nagora. So uh, as I say, they start in around half an hour's time. So I'll do my best to try and keep you updated with all of those scores as well. Of course, we are reaching the business end of the regular season. Pressure beginning to build on all of the teams now. And uh, no doubt both of these sides still will have their eye on trying to force their way into the top four positions in the Group D table. As you can see, Aris currently sitting in sixth position. Uh, they're four and six so far after their 10 games and uh, Telecom Baskets Bond just a position below them in seventh. They're three and seven. So mathematically, it is still possible for uh, both of these sides to qualify for the knockout stages. But of course, uh, they will need a brilliant ending to the regular season. And they'll also be relying on uh, teams above them slipping up somewhat as well. So uh, certainly out of their hands, but still feasible. Here is the Aris roster then. And uh, well, a couple of their key players to look out for. Uh, Bocaridis has done really well since he's come in. He's only played four games, but averages 11 points. Other guys in double digits are uh, the likes of Pruitt as well, who's only played once. He averaged 11 points, and uh, Thanio averaging 10.4 points a game and 4.3 assists. Some of the guys to look out for, and of course, uh, the likes of Vasilopoulos, who will be looking to go to work on the glass. As for uh, Telecom Baskets Bond, well, they're looking to the likes of Julian Gamble, who's averaging 13.4 points a game, 5.7 rebounds so far in the Basketball Champions League. And also Josh Mayo and Malcolm Hill have had good regular seasons so far, averaging 13.3 and 12.3 points respectively. Nemanja Juricic, of course, is an all-court player. He's averaging 9.3 points and 6.6 .6 rebounds a game. They'll be hugely reliant on Juricic again here today. So these sides met last back in uh, the end of October. And it was Telecom Baskets Bond that got the better of Aris on that occasion. 75 points to 69. The drinks are flowing, as you can see. It really is a carnival atmosphere inside this wonderful sporting hall in Germany. So uh, Aris' side will just be uh, introduced to the supporters here. As I said earlier, there's plenty of Aris supporters as well that have made the journey. Got to hand it to them on a Wednesday evening. Coming here to Germany to cheer on their side. Well, Aris uh, lost quite heavily last time out on game day 10, 91 points to 63 against Nanterre. So they'll be looking to try and respond after that uh, heavy loss and also Telecom Baskets Bond come into this game on the back of a defeat on game day 10 as well 106 points to 98 against uh, Chez Nimburg so both of these sides looking to try and bounce back and his fans are making so much noise it's almost as though it's being played in Greece, it's quite incredible, really. And now uh, the Telecom Baskets Bond with their rather fetching pink and black striped outfits will now be introduced to their home supporters. So after today, we have uh, three more game days. 
can go all the way until game day 14. The regular season finishes on uh, Wednesday, the 7th of February. And uh, well, both of these sides, uh, certainly Telecom Baskets Bob will know that any loss really almost puts an end to any hopes of uh, qualifying to the knockout stages. So almost every single game is like uh, it's like a final for them at the moment. Telecom Baskets won, of course, in their debut campaign in the Basketball Champions League. They didn't play in last season's competition. Uh, struggling a little bit as well in the uh, Basketball Bundesliga domestically in Germany. They currently sit in eighth position with a 10 and 7 records. Compare that though, there's some big, big teams in Germany that they've got to try and compete with. I mean, Bayern Munich are just running away with it 16 and 1. They are so far, and then they've got the likes of Alba Berlin, MHPDs in Ludwigsburg, Groß Bamberg, many Beirut, the Freyfurt Skyliners, ABA Baskets Oldenburg. So uh, quite a few basketball Champions League regulars, obviously in the uh, basketball Bundesliga that they've got to try and compete with. And at the moment, down in eighth position. As for Aris, they're uh, really struggling over in Greece. Come back to that. Here are the referees for today: Vicente Bulto of Spain, Petr Husserv the Czech Republic and Darius Zapolsky of Lithuania. Three of our very best officials, of course, that we always have in the Basketball Champions League. So we're just under three minutes or so now uh, until tip-off. And as I was saying, Aris really struggling in the Greek Basketball League. They currently sit in 10th position with a five and seven record. So uh, really, really struggling. Kind of the, uh, Michael's uh, running away with it with a 12 and 0. Here is the Aris starting five then Fionis, Pokorinis, Mozas, Vasilopoulos, and Vasilis Christidis. Leonis is uh, nice to watch with ball in hand. And there is uh, Panagiotis Giannikis, the Aris head coach. They've got uh, a nice mix of experience and youth on their roster to Aris. The Giotis Vasilopoulos is still hugely important to them. And then here is the Telecom Baskets Bond starting five. Josh Mayo, Anthony Dilio, Jorman Polas Bartolo, Julian Gamble and Tomislav Zubcic. Mentioned about uh, Julian Gamble who's had a great basketball Champions League so far, 13.4 points, 5.7 rebounds. Josh Mayo is well there at the point. He's uh, going to try and get the ball in his hands as much as he can. He's averaging 3.2 assists so far in the regular season as well. And, uh, Petra Krunic is the Telecom Baskets one head coach. Telecom Baskets Bond, of course, had to qualify just to get into the regular season of the Basketball Champions League. They had to beat a Katia Basket. They did so quite convincingly, actually, 90 points to 70 in the first game and then uh, 85 points to 81 in the second. So, no real cause for concern. Certainly playing in atmospheres like this today. It just makes you think what a wonderful competition this is. Playing against some of Europe's heavyweights. And the crowd have certainly come out to play today. There's no doubt about that. Both Giotis Giannikis and Petra Krunic just uh, with their last words of wisdom for their respective sides. And we are just about ready to get going here. So just a reminder, Aris in sixth position in Group D. They are four and six. Usted just above them are four and six. And then uh, currently it's Sidigas Avellino who occupy the fourth position, that final spot that would go through to the knockout stages with a five and five record. So it's probably between Sidigas Avellino, Usted, well, Sidigas Avellino downwards really. 
as to who will finish fourth because uh, between Sidigas Avellino in fourth and Nanterre in third, Nanterre currently sitting with a seven and three record. So they'd have to do something fairly, fairly wrong over the next uh, few weeks not to qualify. So at the moment it is Sidigas Avellino in the driver's seat in fourth position, but it is all to play for in Group D. And as I said, even Telecom Buskins Bond will be thinking with a nice start, nice end, sorry, to the regular season, they can still try and force their way into the knockout stages. So here we go then, game day 11 underway. It's Telecom Buskins Bond against Aris, and it is the German side who will have the first possession. Penetration in traffic. Oh, makes a difficult shot. Nice start for Jovan Polas Botolo. And the first points go the way of the German side. Here is uh, Dimitrius Flionis. Nice early start for Vasilopoulos as well. Oh, it's a steal. Great transitional defense, but can't make the block, and the two is made by Christidis. Great anticipation from Christidis to make the steal, and then uh, ran the floor, made the two. It's another turnover. This time it's Dimitrius Flionis with the steal, looking for some support, gets it, and another two for Christidis. It's a fast start for Aris, two steals already, and they've made them count on both occasions. Trying his luck from the outside, just comes up short. Vasilopoulos grabs the rebound. Trying to get it into Christidis again. Christidis, full of confidence, throws the mid range jumper. Comes up short, the rebound by Gamble. Gamble sets the screen, throws it back outside. The three is on the way. And the three is good by Josh Mayo. One of their standout players here in Telecom Baskets, Von. Looking to try and get going early on. Here is Vasilopoulos. Shot clock is down to three here. Fleonis has got to try and throw it out. Great defense by Gamble. And that'll be a shot clock violation. And they will turn it over. Great defensive possession from the German side. Gets a round of applause by Petra Krunic. And the ball back in the hands of uh, Bonn. The uh, things are just being thrown onto the court that he's dealing with. This was the three by Josh Mayer just a moment or so ago. Was selected for the BBL All-Star game in the previous two consecutive years. Throws the three again, and another one goes down. Bartolo has started well. He's up to five points personal. And after a quick start by Aris, Bono responded really well. It's 8-6. Both sides shooting the ball well in the first three minutes or so. An offensive foul is called and Aris will turn it over again. Foul went on Vasilopoulos, another three is knocked down and Josh Mayo, what a start he's had. Two from two from the outside and the lead is up to five. Mayo has six. Leonis, now Vasilopoulos. Vasilopoulos throws it away. Another turnover. Both sides just a little sloppy in possession in the early stages. A couple of turnovers already. Nearly another one there. Good hands to prevent the ball going out of bounds. Drives, penetrates, throws it back outside. Extra pass. Mayo, nice little fade. This time will just throw the little teardrop. Gets it to go again. And Josh Mayo cannot miss. 
in the opening three and a half minutes here. He's up to eight. Decided to turn down the three on that occasion. The lead is already up to seven. Here is Bocaridis. Shot clock down to three again. Bocaridis, difficult shot. It's another good defensive possession by the German side. They've got another miss, a chance to pile on the agony here for Aris. Anthony Dileo to Gamble. Gamble's got two on him, Vasilopoulos and Flionis throws it out. Another three is knocked down. And they cannot miss from the outside. It's Zubcic, the big man, with the three. And a timeout is called, and what a start for Telecom Baskets Bonn. And, uh, well, quite rightly, Panagiotis Giannakis looks pretty furious with uh, his side start. They already trail by ten. Let's listen in. Giannikis just let his side have it there. He is not happy. Very sluggish start indeed. Been an Aris since uh, last year. You have a, a very brief spell in charge of the Chinese national side. Did Giannikis before coming to Aris. He's been in charge of Greece as well. Medal at Eurobasket 2005 under Panagiotis Giannakis did Greece. It's another turnover. Got to look after the ball a little bit better. He's thrown to the floor. The uh, referees decide that there was nothing wrong with it. The pass all the way down the floor. And Kostidis looking to try and go to work and uh, puts in the two. We're back to a single digit game. Moving the ball around really nicely here, Telecom Baskets Bond. Here's Josh Mayo. Mayo must be full of confidence to start. He's had, throws it out, the three on the way. I don't need to tell you the rest. Another one goes down. Incredible shooting early on from beyond the arc. Nice pass and really great work on the defensive end by uh, Bartolo, who just did enough to put him off, making the two. I don't think he realised that anyone was around him, and uh, a foul is called. Nineteen points to eight. Shooting the three at 83% at the moment, our uh, Telecom Baskets bond. Zubcic is one from two, Delay is one from one, Bartolo's one from one, and Josh Mayo is two from two from beyond the, the arc. So it's only Zubcic who has missed. Lead is 
11. Well, Bocaridis can certainly shoot the three. Decided two from a long way out, just came up short. So another miss, another chance here for Telecom Muskets Bond to increase the advantage. Now Gamble. Leo throws up the step back two, makes another one. Coming into this game day 11, Telecom Buskets Bomb was shooting the three at 34%, so they are really trying to change that so far today. Another miss for the Greeks. Deleo out to the corner, the three on the way, this time comes up short. Only the second three-point shot that they've missed so far today. Vasilopoulos. Bokaridis again for three. It's good. <laughs> Certainly shoot the ball. Bokaridis averaging 11 points so far in the Basketball Champions League. Harris at the moment just trying to stay in touch after the... Incredible start that the German side have made. Great ball movement. Gamble is fouled and won. They can do no wrong at the moment, the German side. Just drew the contact, made the two, and will head to the line for another three point play. Both Bartolo and DiLeo check out for the German side. Gamble does indeed make it a three-point play. Gary Bell on the floor now for Harris. Mokaridis throws it away. That's what Panagiotis Giannakis will not be happy about, especially sometimes teams do get the hot hand and everything they throw up seems to turn to points. But one thing that you can control is the way you look after the ball. And at the moment, Aris aren't doing that. Another three comes up short. Last touch was off Bob, so Aris will get possession. Side shot knocked down to four. Gary Bell is fouled on this occasion, and Bell will shoot two. for this season to Gary Bell. He's a defensive player as well. He can also shoot the ball. Vasilopoulos uh, checks out of the game. The lead is at 12 at the moment, 25-13. Just under two minutes to go in this opening quarter. it out turn down to three drives to the baseline fouls this time couldn't get the two to go but will head to the line anyway <laughs> to zealous was uh, Juvier.
here is Duvier. Duvier couldn't get it to go, he's got the option out in the corner. Here comes the three, knocks it down. Ruiz found himself open in the corner, great pass underneath. Well, Zipcic, not just a big man, but he could also pass the ball as well. So the final 60 seconds, Bocaridis, nice pass that Ellis throws up. A little floater, can't get it to go. Here is Klein. Nice little spin move, tries to use the glass, can't get it. Rebound on that occasion by Dubier. He's 13, now Sarellis, Gary Bell. Bell, great ball movement by Aris, another three on the way, another three knocked down. Well, a couple from Pruitt right at the end of this first quarter. Boy, do they need it. They've managed to reduce the gap to just 10. Which, to be honest, the way that uh, Telecom Baskets Bonn have played in this opening quarter, I think Karras will be reasonably happy with great pass, even though he lost his balance. Another three comes up short. They've got two seconds or so to get the last shot away in this opening quarter. Here it comes. Oh, nearly made it from the halfway line. Just couldn't get it to go. That would have been three consecutive threes for Pruitt. Well, it gives us a chance to try and get our breath back. What an opening quarter. Telecom Baskets won 29, Aris 19. Well, it was an incredible atmosphere even before this game had started and the way that Telecom Baskets Bond played in that opening quarter has done absolutely nothing to quieten this crowd down. It's of course had the opposite effect, they've just got louder and louder as Aris look to try and respond in the second quarter. They find themselves 10 points down, the lead has been as big as 13. And they've got uh, Pruitt to thank really for a couple of threes right towards the back end of that opening quarter just to try and bring them a little bit closer it also helped that the German side did miss a couple of threes in the last 90 seconds two minutes or so it's Konstantin Klein Zubcic Brunig, great ball movement, spots the extra man in the corner, who knocks down another. It's Curry this time. Great ball movement again, though, by the German side.
nearly thrown away in an unsportsmanlike is called. So Aris will turn it over. So it'll be a couple of free throws for Telecom Baskets Bond. They'll then get uh, possession back as well. So it's a chance to make Aris really pay. Foul went on through it, by the way. straight back Malcolm Hill knocking down the free throws good college career for uh, Illinois did Malcolm Hill finished his college career as the third all-time leading scorer for uh, Illinois in their history pretty young as well just a 22 year old kid and now another steal and he looks to drive and can't get the two to go. Great work on the defensive end, but the offensive rebound by Constantine Klein, who puts back the two. The lead is as big as it has been. And I think Panagiotis Giannikis has just picked up a technical foul. So things just going from bad to worse here for Aris. Well, he's always a pretty emotional character on the sideline is uh, Panagiotis Giannikis. And I think he's let his emotion get the better of him there. So it'll be another turnover for Aris, another chance to head to the free throw line, which he makes. And now they'll get possession back again. So not the start that Aris wanted to start off this second quarter. So Bocaridis checks out. Julianitis is the man who comes onto the floor. The lead is up to 17 after a fast start. Three. He's got to shoot over the defense and still makes it. Thomas Lavzumcic. The three didn't look on, trying to take it over Vasilopoulos and still got the three to go. The lead is up to 20. Well, the foul this time goes on Zumcic. So a trip to the foul line. And Harris in big, big trouble here. from the line makes one from two so a lot of work to do now for Aris who have to try and come back from a 19 point deficit now here is Malcolm Hill certainly shoot the ball if they give him an opportunity to the shot clock's down to three Hill step back two is good gets the roll The baby-faced assassin. Here is Gary Bell. Bell does well, doesn't get the roll though, should have made it. Rebound by Martin Brunig. 
looking to try and push the tempo here. Telecom Basket's Bon. Bartolo. Now Hill again. Curry. May just have to shoot the three with the shot clock counting down. Oh, it looked good in the sky. Couldn't quite get it to go, just came up short. So a bit of respite for Aris, but they need to try and punish them. Throws it back outside. Vasilopoulos does have a decent three-point shot on him as well. And uh, span towards the hoop. Did Sarellis through the foul. <laughs> Poor hands from Gary Bell, it's another turnover for the Greek side, and they cannot afford to do this, trailing by 21. It's the eighth turnover of the game already. The German side have had just two. Drives are oh, rejected by Vasilopoulos, but uh, Bond will get the ball back. There's Bartolo. Aggressive penetration, but good work by Vasilopoulos. Still got eight seconds left on the shot clock. Underneath, and now the pass down the floor to Sorellis, who makes the layup. And now looks straight back at them again. Mayo just decides to retreat. Nice pass, all oh, last touch was off uh, Martin Brunig, and Bond will turn it over. Very nearly managed to find a way through the Aris defense. Sorellis picks up another foul. Get the two to go, we'll shoot two, the foul goes on Martin Brunig. Sorellis so back to the foul line. Again, his uh, professional career with Aris back in 2007 did Michalis Sorellis. He moved on to Pastures New the year later in 2008 and then re-signed in August of 2016, so he's back where it all began. Trying to eat into this lead, it's back down to 18. It's been as big as 21 so far. Mayo, catch and shoot from a long way out. Can't get this one to go. That's what they don't want to start doing, they're trying to force shots done so well so far today is to make almost every shot the best shot available they haven't rushed it they've remained patient they've passed the ball they've waited for the best opportunity to shoot it but uh, on that occasion Mayo just had the three in his mind and uh, Petra Krunic calls a timeout here Okay, <laughs> 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 
Telecom Baskets Bond still with a 16 point advantage. We've got five minutes remaining in this first half. Mayo drives to the baseline on the reverse. Oh, what a finish! It looked as though the chance had gone for Malcolm Hill. Julianitis, now Sedelis. More than happy to allow him to shoot the three. Comes up short and uh, Bond will get it back. Let's have another look at this. Great little up and under from Malcolm Hill. Here he is again. Delay. Throws it back outside to Josh Mayo. Mayo goes himself, tries the spectacular pass behind his back. Wasn't quite on. He uh, kind of ran out of options, to be honest. The shot clock counting down. See that double the amount of turnovers so far for Aris. But Ellis now. Back to Sorellis. Sorellis throws it up and gets the roll. Always uh, a good minute so far, has Sorellis. To eight points. Three from four from the field so far. Mayo lines up another three off target. Their three point shot is just beginning to desert them after the first eight minutes or so of the first quarter. They simply could not miss from the outside, but since then, it certainly has gone a little quieter. Mayo again, a oh, great pass by Josh Mayo. And Gamble makes the two. Beautiful little bounce pass to Gamble. Uh, timeout is called this time by Panagiotis Giannakis. So three minutes or so remaining in this second quarter. And well after Telecom Buskets, Bond flew out of the traps in the well first and second quarter really. Harris are just beginning to try and find a way back into this. 45 points to 27 the lead. But it's another steal. 
He'll look to go coast to coast and slams it down with the one-hand jab. Great steal by Bartolo, just read where the pass was going to go. And the lead's back up to 20 as Bocaridis finds a way and finishes with his stronger left hand. to find his way through the gamble last touch was off Addis I think it was Leonis who it came off so Bond will get it back with nine seconds left on the shot clock it's DeLeo shot clock is down to two someone's got to get the shot away yeah, and I uh, don't think Bartolo was uh, fully aware that the shot clock, well, he only had two seconds or so to shoot, just apologises to his teammates. It's Leonis. Can they have a really good final two minutes or so? of this first half, Aris, and get right back into this game. It's an important stage of the game here for both of these sides. Grabs his own offensive rebound and puts it back. Omar Morgan Pruitt is uh, putting up some good numbers in this game early on. I think he's got eight points rather than six. He had two three-pointers. And uh, an offensive foul. So Bond will turn it over. Another chance here for Aris to try and eat into the lead. Here is Leonis. Bocaridis always looking for the three. Bocaridis this time to the baseline, put out of bounds, and Aris will turn it straight back over. So didn't make Bon pay for the turnover previously. Timeout has been called. With just over a minute or so to go in this second quarter. So 60 seconds or so to go in this second quarter. Bond still leading by 16. Oh, what a spin move that is. And the dunk from Julian Campbell. It's Bocaridis. Bocaridis throws it back outside through it. Sorellis, the shot comes down to two. Sorellis saw it, did well. 
who couldn't make the right-hand jump hook. They'll get it back, though. Harris, good work on the offensive glass. Now Bocaridis. Bocaridis drives into the lane, and uh, the two knocked down by Sedelis. So perhaps the last possession of the first half will go to Telecom Baskets Bond. Just confirmation there of uh, Sedelis's good first half. Ten points he's got, exactly the same as Josh Mayo has for the German side. Josh Mayo draws the foul with 2.9 seconds left on the shot clock, on the game clock. Inbound pass to Mayo, who catches, throws up the three, no good, and the buzzer goes. A really enjoyable first half here at the Telecom Dome, in which Telecom Baskets won lead Aris, 49 points to 33. Well, it could have been worse for Aris, certainly at the start of this second half, second quarter, sorry, that uh, they really struggled early on. They did well just to stay in touch almost, at 16 points back, they're still in it. But Bond shooting the ball 75% from two-point range. They're 12 from 16, 7 from 16 from beyond the arc as well. Five steals as well for Bond. Six turnovers compared to 10 for the Greek side. Need to look after the ball a lot better in this second half to Aris. The game leaders, Josh Mayo and Sorellis with 10 points each. Gamble has two rebounds, Pruitt has four. And Josh Mayo also with three assists. Bartolo's had two steals. And a block each for Mortos. And uh, here is Paulus Bartolo has seven fruit with eight in both Julian Gamble and uh, Vasilios Vistidis have six points each. But a really enjoyable first half here in Germany. And it is Telecom Baskets Bond with a 16-point lead. What will the second half bring? Join us again in around 10 minutes' time when the second half will get underway.
So welcome back everybody to the Telecom Dome. The second half just a couple of moments away. And at the moment it's going rather well for Telecom Baskets Bond. 49-33 they lead Aris of Greece. Got off to a really hot start. They made five out of their first six three pointers in the opening quarter. And even though their three point shot has uh, dropped off somewhat, their two point is Certainly still firing, they're shooting it at 73% so far. And uh, well, at the moment, it's actually the three point shot of Aris that is keeping them in it. They're shooting that at 75%, but they still require a fairly miraculous turnaround in this second half to try and overcome a 16 point deficit. Certainly seen leads uh, of more than that be wiped out in the Basketball Champions League. So uh, no doubt, Panagiotti Giannakis has really had some stern words to say to his side at the halftime break. Uh, let's see whether it has any impact in their performance. A couple of other games in Group D currently taking place that uh, tipped off half an hour or so after this one started. Nanterre against Dustenda, that's uh, 19 points each in the early stage of the second quarter. And uh, Stelmet Zielona Gora have raced out to a 22 point 11 advantage over Sedigis Avellino. Now, that is good news for both Aris and Telecom Baskets Bond because uh, Sedigis Avellino are struggling a little bit in fourth position. So they currently occupy the final knockout spot. And you get the impression that it's really between Sedigis, Ustenda, Aris, Telecom and Stelmet to uh, try and finish in that fourth position. So if Sadiqis Avellino can lose today, then it does help all the sides beneath them. So I'll try and keep you up to date with the scores in the uh, other game. Still business to be done here. For Telecom Basket Spot, the atmosphere has been absolutely fantastic right from the very start. There's loads of Aris supporters as well, as well that have come across from Greece to support their side. And the noise just got louder and louder when the German side raced out into the 16 point lead. Let's see whether the second half is any different. It'll be the German side to have the first possession. Josh Mayo immediately on the ball. He leads the way for the German side. He's got 10 points and three assists as well. Much 
Bartolo. Bartolo, good uh, aggressive penetration, grabs his own rebound, throws it back outside. Mayo has all the time in the world to knock down the three. And the second half starts just as the first half did. With Telecom Buskets Von finding their range from the perimeter. Here is Bokaridis. Now Vasilopoulos, who's been quiet so far. Two points, three rebounds. Shot clock is down to two, needs to get the shot away. Vasilopoulos did so just before the buzzer. Offensive rebound. Well, they'll be disappointed. Telecom Buskets Von, they forced a difficult shot. But uh, good work by Dubier to grab the rebound and put back the two. Zubcic, who shot the three well, is fouled. And Zubcic will shoot three from the foul line. Six points so far, two from three from the field. And Zubcic with a chance to throw three free throws as well. What a great free throw shooter. Only 57% uh, so far in the Basketball Champions League. Makes the first. So Chich has nine, two three-pointers and three from the foul line as well. So it's Dubier into Vasilopoulos. Now Sabrelis, who had a good first half. That would have been a long two had he have made it. And a good hustle again by Dubier. again always been considered to be one of the best and most tenacious defensive players in Europe shot clock down to three Sorellis just had to make sure the three by Bocarinas right before the buzzer can't get it to go and now the rebound by Anthony DeLeo Josh Mayo lines up the three off target on this occasion <laughs> Second, so second foul on Julian Campbell. He's actually been kept reasonably quiet so far today. The man that arrived from uh, Brussels in 2016 to college in Miami, part of the world, is Bocaridis. Bocaridis throws it out of bounds. Well, one thing Harris have got to do better in this second half is look after the ball. When you trail by this many, you simply have to make sure that you don't give any cheap turnovers. Yeah, I think he's just taken a knock to the face there by Dubier. Zubchitz just asking why it perhaps wasn't a foul. <laughs> 28 years of age now is uh, Tomislav Zubchitz was uh, around two pick back in 2012 NBA draft by the Toronto Raptors. Right, so we're then traded to the Oklahoma City Thunder in 2015. And uh, a year later, the Thunder announced to Zubchit's draft rights, so he was eligible to sign with any NBA team. Instead, went to uh, Pastures New.
Here's DeLeo, Subchich for another three, comes up short. Rebound on this occasion by Gary Bell. Duvier, Duvier, step back two is good. So Duvier has four. Here it is five rebounds as well. Subchich again, now Josh Mayer, just important here for Telecom Basket's Bond to try and keep them at arm's length as the alley oop is thrown down by Julian Campbell. Serellis, Vasilopoulos, foul goes on Gamble, Gamble not happy with the call. Have another look at this, Mayo to Gamble. Leonis, now Dubier. It is deafening inside this sports hall at the moment. Third foul on Brunig then, he's just got to be a little bit careful. Considering we've uh, still got six minutes to play in this third quarter, nice penetration by Flionis and makes it with the left hand. The foul on Duvier as well, so both of the guys now in foul trouble. Here is Anthony DeLeo. Unic comes to set the screen. DeLeo has to go himself. Great bounce pass. So oh, couldn't get it to go. Did it hit the rim? Yes, it did. They'll have another opportunity. It's a good defense by Aris. Now Gary Bell to Vasilopoulos. And shoot the three Vasilopoulos. Seems reluctant to at the moment. Now Dubier. Dubio steps back and makes another two. Dubio's just coming to the party in this third quarter. He's got six. And Anthony DeLeo makes the layup. This is good from Telecom Baskets Bolt. They're just more than happy to trade, really, with Aris. 100% from the field. Vasilopoulos now. Extra pass to Gary Bell. Bell throws up the long two. Zubchich with the rebound. Deleu again throws it out. Zubchich throws the three from miles out. Comes up short. Gary Bell with the rebound. And Bell manages to draw the foul. Leonis, now Dubier. Vasilopoulos saw poor hands by Sorellis, they've turned it over. Tolo, good transitional defense by Aris there, just to get bodies back. Bartolo tried to lead the fast break. DeLeo back to Bartolo. Bartolo into the lane, doesn't get the roll. 
and Leonis grabs the rebound. Lucky from Bartolo, nice aggression. Paul just seemed to hang on the edge of the rim for quite a few seconds before quite falling the right way. Malcolm Hill back onto the floor. Enjoying what they're seeing at the moment are oh, the bomb supporters. Leonis makes both from the line. Just under four minutes to go in this third quarter. Last touch on Vasilopoulos, so Bond will get it back. I think Vasilopoulos thought that uh, perhaps should have been Aris Ball. Still the lead is 16. Constantine Klein has the ball in his hands. And Curry. Malcolm Hill decides to shoot over the defence, comes up short and manages to grab his own rebound, Malcolm Hill. And is actually now called on a travel, so we'll turn it back over. He somehow grabbed the offensive rebound, not entirely sure how. Here is Leonis. Correcting, protecting the perimeter well here, Telecom Basket Bond. The shot clock is down 2-3, someone needs to get it away. Not sure Sorellis knows, the right-hand jump hook, was it just after the buzzer? Yes, it was, it's not going to count. Another good defensive possession by the German side. Sorellis made the right-hand jump hook, but it must have been half a second or so too late, so the bucket doesn't count, it's another miss for Aris. The lead stays at 16. Malcolm Hill has got two men all over him, manages to pick out Klein in the corner, who can't make the three, the rebound by Vasilopoulos. Did really well to fight Klein, did Malcolm Hill. Now Flionis, who tries to use the glass to make the two. And the rebound by Klein, and now it's a 3v2, out to Zubcic, who had more time, he didn't need the time. He makes another three. What a game Tomislav Zubcic is having. He is up to 12. He's made three three-pointers. He was also fouled shooting a three-pointer and made all three from the line. And the lead is back up to 19. Another possession where the shot clock is down to 0.6 seconds. And they get a little lucky that it foul. So Gary Bell will head to the line. First foul goes on Malcolm Hill. Bell can't make the first. really feel Aris need a, a good end to this third quarter. We've got a minute and 50 seconds to go. They still trail by 18. They haven't been able to make any inroads at all into this Telecom Buskets bond advantage in this third quarter. And Malcolm Hill steps back, throws the two, comes up short. Vasilopoulos grabs the rebound. It's fourth. Just feel they need a couple of makes and a couple of misses down the other end of the floor. Vasilopoulos, nice little pass. Bocaridis drives and makes an easy two. Now, can they get a, a miss here?
foul goes on Bokaridis. Difficult shot, can't get it to go. Sumchich very nearly grabbed the offensive rebound. So Aris have got a miss. Can they punish it with a make down the other end? Wokaridis, can he work some space to shoot the three? We know he's got it in him. Bell, Bell drives. And last touch was off. I think it was Martin Brunig. So Aris will regain possession with six seconds left on the shot clock. <laughs> Gary Bell inbounds to Bocaridis. Now Sorellis has to throw up the long two miles off. Rebound by Malcolm Hill. And we've got about a two second differential between the shot of the game clock here. The lead is 16. They are still just about in touch here, our uh, Aris. Hill throws it out. Brunig, 4 2, comes up way short. Dubier grabs the rebound. Bell's just got to have to throw it up from inside his own half. Can't get it to go. And well, Telecom Buskets Bob will be pretty happy with that third quarter. They've still kept Aris at arm's length. 62 points to 46 with one to go. Quarter just about to get started, and Aris overturn a 16-point deficit. It would be some turnaround if they were to if they were able to. I'll take you with the other games in Group D, both at half time. Nanterre leading uh, Ustenda 37 points to 31, and uh, Stelmet Zielo Nagora 36, Sadiga Savalino 28 in the other game in Group D. So it's Bob has to try and move up the group D standings. Three and seven coming into this. Four and six are Aris. It's Curry. Curry, good penetration, great defense. Managed to get the block and now Bokaridis trying to lead the fast break. Going coast to coast, not rejected by Zubchich. Oh, 
good aggression from Bokaridis, but also great defensive transition by Zubcic just to swap the ball away. This was the block down the other end. It was a mixture of two or three of them there. Three is off target. Curry grabs the rebound. Now Zubcic. Hill lines up the three, can't get it to go. The rebound by Bokaridis. Dubien, difficult shot to make. Still have plenty of time in that possession. They get a little fortunate to get the ball back, though. Bond just couldn't quite claw in the defensive rebounds. Bokaridis again, lovely little pass on the one-handed slam from Dubier. We've seen plenty of highlights in this game already. Harris's first task in this final quarter will no doubt be just to try and get it to a single-digit lead. They've got it to 14 as Zubcic lines up the three and counted again. Tomislav Zubcic, what a game he's having from the perimeter. Another three knocked down, that's uh, his fourth from the outside. He's up to 15 points personal. Now Bokaridis, shot clock down to three, and he has it stolen off him by Klein. Klein to Hill, gets it to go, and one. Great hand skills again by Malcolm Hill. Little no-look pass by Konstantin Klein. And he'll head to the line for a three-point play here Will Malcolm Hill. Foul went on Bokaridis, by the way. Hill does indeed make the three-point play. One thing that Aris will not be doing is throwing in the towel at any stage because points differential could be hugely important come the end of the regular season. Could well be the difference between making it to the knockout stage of the Basketball Champions League and exiting after the regular season finishes. His bell, bell, just couldn't make the two but will head to the line. really just haven't been able to get close at all to Telecom Basket's bond throughout this this game and getting it to 14 a couple of minutes ago was as close as they've been and now the fast break led by Gary Bell who's fouled again and it will be another trip to the line five from six from the free throw line so far today <laughs> Here is Curry. 
line, throws it back out. Subcic on the way for another three, just comes up short. Rebound eventually grabbed by Ivan Maras. Curry Bell, nice pass. Difficult shot, couldn't get it to go. Rebound by Curry. Curry now trying to lead the fast break to Klein. Subcic in the corner again, back to Klein. Great ball movement, just can't get it to go. In and out. Aris have out-rebounded the German side today, 32-21. It's made no odds as Gary Bell. This will be a three, no good. Well, no real rush to force the tempo now. Dribble, throws it straight out of bounds, looking to try and bounce it into Julian Gamble. And it really is going to be such a, an enthralling ending to Group D. It is so, so close, all vying for that, that fourth spot. Between Telecom Buskets, Bond, Aris, Delmetzi, Alona Gora, Sadiga Tavalina, and Ustenda. It's Curry, now Zubcic. Malcolm Hill has to step back and throw the two, can't get it to go. The rebound by Madas. Leonis very nearly turned it over. And Duvier to thank for picking up the loose ball. Now Vasilopoulos throws it out to Maras. Another good defensive possession so far by Telecom Baskets. Bond, they force a difficult shot, get the miss. Been really, really solid on the defensive end, have the German side. And a number of occasions that they forced the clock all the way down. Forcing a pretty difficult shot with maybe one second to go. Here is Gamble. So timeout calls. Telecom Baskets Bond still in control out here at the Telecom Dome. So four minutes and 42 seconds left in this final quarter. German side in possession with a 17-point advantage. It's Julian Gamble. Gamble throws it out. Not a soul on Mayo, who can't make the three, but the offensive rebound by Gamble. Gamble again throws it back outside to Mayo. Mayo with the shot clock down to two. May just have to throw one up. He does. A really difficult right hand jump hook. They very nearly grab the offensive rebound. They do. No, they don't. The ball will head back to Aris. What a 
game he's had so far today. Tomislav Subcic. Julianitis. Maris sets the screen. As Sorelis. To Vasilopoulos, who has it. Stolen out of his hands, and now Bartolo can bring it forward for Bon. Pretty lackadaisical turnover by Vasilopoulos, though. And Curry into Julian Gamble. Back out to Curry again. No one protecting the perimeter. They get lucky again, though, Aris, that the, the three-point shot is off target. Sorellis, four hands, Vasilopoulos, not a good couple of couple, well, minute or so for him. So Telecom Baskets Bond, they have three games remaining after this. They travel to Nanterre on game day 12, that is next Wednesday, Wednesday the 24th of January. They then also have an on-the-road game against Besiktas on game day 13 on the 30th of January. And then they finish their Group D campaign regular season at home to Sadigis Avellino, what a crucial game that could turn out to be. But uh, two tricky games for them in the next two weeks against both Nanterre and Besiktas. You feel they're going to have to get something from both of those games, really, to stand any chance of qualifying when they do come to play Sadigis Avellino on game day 14. As for Aris, well, next week, they are at home against Besiktas on Po Japan. That's on uh, next Wednesday, the 24th. They then travel to Sadigas Avellino on game day 13, Wednesday, the 31st of January. And their final game, game day 14 on Wednesday, the 7th of February, is uh, a home game against Ustenda. So they actually face two of the sides that they are fighting with for that full spot in Sadigas Avellino and Ustenda over the next three weeks, whereas Telecom Baskets Bond have to face two of the sides who presumably will almost be qualified by them, which could help them out. And the steal. Oh, beautiful hands! And watch out! Gets into the runway and lift off for Bartolo. And a timeout has been called. Lead is still 19. Done so well, Telecom Baskets Bond, just to not really give Aris even half a chance of getting back into this. They've always just kept them at least 14 points or so in front. So it's been a really professional performance by the German side. Thank you. 
Down the first from the line. <laughs> to uh, James Madison to play his college basketball. First uh, professional contract was with Kirka. It was uh, Ron Curry in Slovenia. 24 years of age, moved to Telecom Basketball last year. in discussion over something here. Just over 90 seconds to go. His job done as far as the German side are concerned. So important to look after your, your home court. And they've certainly done that today. The double over Harris. So they beat them in Greece earlier on in the regular season back at the end of October. 75 points to 69 on that occasion. Decides to shoot the three from way downtown, and Bocaridis connects. Wow, this time goes on. Skouros Mortos is three again from Bocaridis. Miles out, taking that. First. In that Liga Savalino Stamazil and Gora game now. Just a three point lead for Zil and Gora. up the long two Ron Curry with a big rebound well, there's been some turnaround as well in the other game in group D Ustenta who trails at half time against Nanterre as the three is knocked down they just keep piling on the agony but they've raced that into a 19-2 lead into the third quarter Ustenta they now lead by 11 so the bad news for Telecom Buskets Bond here is that even though they won this game, it looks as though Ustenda are going to win that game, another side just below them, 
and also Stelmet Zilo Nagora are going to win as well as the buzzer goes and it is a thoroughly impressive performance by Telecom Buskis Bot. They raced out of the traps early on and they never really gave Aris even a glimmer of hope of getting back into this one. They have always looked pretty comfortable as the game has gone on and Aris just wasn't their day today. The boy is this Group D going to be close? Is it going to be an exciting climax? as to who is going to progress through to the knockout stages of the Basketball Champions League. There are still so many teams that could go through. Telecom Baskets Bond know that almost every game they have to treat as a final. They have to win almost every game you feel to stand any chance. Well, they've done just that here against Aris today. So they go to four and seven, as do Aris. Delmet Zielo Nagora beating Sidigas Avellino, they would move to four and seven. But Ustenda would move to five and six if they were to carry on beating Nanterre. But it is so close. Final score here in Germany. Telecom Baskets won 76, Aris 59. So both these sides four and seven with three game days left in the Basketball Champions League regular season. A nice touch, just going round and high-fiving the fans and people working here as well. crowd have been royally treated today they came in in their numbers here are the stats Bond shooting the two at 50 percent the three at 35 that three-point shot really deteriorated for both sides really Aris was shooting it well at half time at 75 percent that went down to in the 30s 17 turnovers though for Aris hugely costly they really did not look after the ball well enough throughout the whole game Zubcic had 15 points he had a great game Bokaridis ended up with 10. Four steals as well for Zubcic. Bokaridis with five turnovers. Zubcic, Mayo and DeLeo leading the way for Bond. Bokaridis and Sorelis both with 10. And Pruitt had eight. Six of those coming from the outside. So I will leave you with the highlights of this one. It is a big, big result for Telecom Baskets Bond. But it is so, so tight down the bottom of the Group D table. There are still almost every side in Group D can make it through to the knockout stages. There's still a couple of games going on as we speak in Group D that uh, you can obviously flick over and watch. Ustender against Nanterre or Stelmet Zilo Nagora against Sadiga Savalino. They are uh, deep in the third quarter, though, so there's still the final quarter still to play in that one. So why not flick over and just watch how that one pans out? But uh, if not, we'll be back, of course, next week again for more action from the Basketball Champions League. In the meantime, make sure you download the app, the Basketball Champions League app that's available, that you can get all the latest news and highlights and everything you can possibly think of. It is well worth downloading. But here it has finished. Telecom Baskets Bond 76, Aris 59.